What's up guys and welcome back to Pete's Carport. So once again it happens. You start the video, uh, you have everything set up, and things just don't go the way you want them to. So I put the camera away and, and just started working on the car, trying to get things uh, the way I wanted them, and found a solution to something that many people out there have uh, been attempting to do. Now I'm sure other people know about this solution, but I'm going to show you something that's really cool, very easy, and extremely inexpensive. And when I say easy, it just takes seconds to get your chrome basically from kind of beat up looking to shiny as long as it's not too far gone obviously if you don't have any major pitting so right here is where I used a clay bar and I'm talking about a standard Meguiar's clay bar let me grab the box uh, I picked this up because my paint was it, it my paint felt like sandpaper and um, I had attempted to go the route that uh, a lot of the uh, uh, videos out there that you can watch, the, the series on cleaning your car, they're all about um, you know going overboard with the polishing, uh, your uh, basically compound polish and then wax. And they're using you know a couple hundred dollar uh, machines and they're using several different machines, they're using very expensive. Uh, products, uh, ones that they are extremely familiar with, and I realized, um, you know, most people out there, including myself, don't do this every day. This is not our jobs, and so I was having a lot of issues where I was getting um, compound and polish all in the cracks, and you know, on my lights, and I'm going to show you guys where that is, and a hell of a time getting it off when um, you know I had to go somewhere afterwards. It, it sat in the sun for a little bit. And, and it's just jammed on there. And so same thing with the chrome. So, you know, I've, I've picked up some chrome polishes and they work great, but then they get all over the rubber pieces into the crevices. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, my solution. And I'm gonna be using this all the time. As you can see here, this piece has not been cleaned in a very long time. It's not terrible, not at all. Um, this car was very well kept, garage kept. But I'm just gonna spray some of the detailing spray on there. Now you could use, um, some standard soap and water and that works well too and you can feel the surface is quite rough and then all you do and I'm just gonna do this small section you can feel it pulling up the dirt and grime that's kind of embedded in it and a lot of times that's um, from waxes and stuff getting on there and then everything sticks to it now we do have a heavy overcast today so hopefully I can get uh, a really good shot for you guys on film to show you the difference and let me just you can sound it feels like sandpaper and then it feels smooth um, now of course these Mercedes have many different types of uh, materials including like on my s500 it's got more of a bronzes gold and yes it does work on that it's extremely safe um, like I said we have heavy overcast today but I did this side and man, I was extremely impressed because this looked like uh, it couldn't really be saved that much. I thought, you know, I was going to have to have that refinished down the road. I was going to order some covers for it. And all I did was clay bar it. So let's go to the other side. I'm going to show you guys on this side. And I'm doing this as I'm filming it because I was actually filming, um, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, earlier, I was trying to film the trunk that I painted because I went ahead and wet sanded and then I um, compounded and polished it and that's where I was getting the frustration because um, it just wasn't wasn't coming out the way that I thought it was going to because the paint went on so nicely on this trunk and and really the idea was from you know a few feet away I wanted it to look really nice and you can tell it's slightly different color um, I pointed that out in the last video but in certain lighting, you can absolutely not tell. But uh, what I was really upset about is, if I can get closer here, was the, um, and I did just clay bar this too, so there's a possibility that it did pull some of these in. It actually did. So there was a lot of light scratches you could really see, and it didn't take the scratches out, but it really blended them. And you can see here, because I had to wet sand it so much, because I couldn't get rid of some of the scratches, that I believe were underneath um, inside the clear coat of the original paint and when I painted over it I didn't think you could see it 
but once we got uh, a really nice uh, 2000 grit wet sand and then polish on here, um, those scratches were coming through. But let's go back to the chrome here. You can see how dirty that was. And then, and you can hit this with some chrome polish right after that. And I, I bet, you know, um, that would probably be the best way to do it. Now what's awesome about this is it actually cleans the rubber too. If, we, if you look at your clay bar as you're doing it, it's gonna get quite dirty. And um, what I noticed was afterwards, uh, my black trim looked a lot better because a lot of uh, uh, the compounds and the polishes and the waxes get caught up in there and then uh, sunlight hits them and dries it out. Another thing you can do is uh, Armorall or um, what I like to use is the 301 spray. Very similar to Armorall but a little bit higher grade. And you just put a little on the towel and you go around your car. And what that's going to do is keep these seals uh, lubricated, especially in the Florida sun. And uh, I like to get the sunroof sealed too because that tends to go. I'm very fortunate this car was garage kept and it was um, mostly kept in Florida. And uh, what that's done is kept the rust away as well as a lot of the sun deterioration. So I just wanted to give you guys that update. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I've been using the clay bar on everything. Keep in mind the windows are awesome to use this clay bar on. Another thing, I had gotten uh, compound all over this and then it sat in uh, the sun one day and I could not get it off. Clay barring it actually worked now. It did take off that really nice um, sparkle finish that Mercedes puts on there. So I'm gonna look at what kind of paint, if we could tape that off and spray it, maybe a, click, a quick um, like glitter clear coat over it. And uh, maybe that'll bring back that glitter. But I'm gonna look online, I'm sure there's something out there because I'm sure a lot of people have uh, over time had that same issue. But yeah. Um, Cool thing is the car is getting some new rims and tires today thanks to a subscriber. That's going to be on another episode. This one was really just to show you guys uh, something I found out as I was trying to film something else and I was so excited about how well the clay bar was working on the chrome, on the door handles, on the windows. Really wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can do the same thing on your Mercedes. Hopefully this helps guys. Once again, like, subscribe, and share. My name's Peter, and this is Pete's Carport. Have a wonderful day.